Hi, I'm Martin Pring. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but I say that a chart is worth a thousand pictures. And that's because charts in the financial markets often scream out very important messages that an important or significant trend reversal has taken place or is about to take place. Each month I publish a newsletter called the Intermarket Review, and each issue contains what I call the chart of the month. And that features a market that I think has just turned or is about to turn. So this series of videos aims at presenting these charts of the month. So if you're interested in them, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be brought up to speed on a regular basis. So without more ado, let's go to the chart room and see what's in store this month. The dollar is in a primary bear market because it experienced a series of declining peaks and troughs and it's below its 200 day moving average. The special K in the center panel identifies important trend reversals through trend line violations, as confirmed by the price. Here we see a bear signal. Here's a bull. And here's the bear signal that triggered the most recent decline. Now I'll move to a shorter term chart. Here you can see another setup with a downtrend line for the Special K and the KST. See how the Special K has begun to stabilize and the KST has actually started to turn up. This ought to result in a short term rally. A rally of sufficient strength to push the index back above this downtrend line for a major dollar buy signal. The level to watch out for is the 77.5 to 78 area. A break that can hold above it would be very positive for the dollar. Contrary opinion is on our side because there's been recent publicity from several governments calling for the end of the dollar as a reserve currency. In my book, governments are typically lagging indicators. If you doubt that, ask the Bank of England why they sold their gold at levels below $300 several years ago. Two other currencies look weak. Here's a Swiss franc. In the past, its signal declines through these exhaustion bars, where the currency has run up sharply during a week, but not at the Monday opening or the Friday close. Now if I uncover some recent action, you can see that we had another such week in late September. That means that this intermediate KST is likely to reverse to the downside. These arrows show the indicator, though not perfect, has been pretty good at calling turns in the last few years. Finally, Gordon Brown's pound has just completed a head and shoulders top with a minimum downside objective of 153. It may well go lower. In conclusion, we do not yet have an overall dollar index buy signal, but keep your eye on that 77.5 to 78 area, and you may see some fireworks as the bears quickly unwind their short positions. If you enjoyed this chart of the month, you may want to go to pring.com and download a free sample of our intermarket review. A monthly roundup of the world's principal financial markets with a special emphasis on the US. We also look at global indicators, bonds, precious metals, currencies and international markets using ETFs to execute our strategies as much as possible. You'll find unique indicators and intermarket relationships you cannot find anywhere else. In the meantime, thanks for watching and good luck and good charting.